All right, so next break. So what are we working on now? Now it is time to attach the elevators and the uh, rudder to the assembly. The rudder is just sitting on there for right now. It is not fastened in yet. So I want to show you guys, these are Robard hinges. When you go to do hinges, I want to show you what I do and um, how I install hinges. So the first thing that we are going to do is make sure that all of your Robard hinges uh, in an ORF, they pull out. Or if you're building something, you can, um, you know, buy these hinges to go with or plastic hinges. There's a lot of different types. I really like the Robarts. A lot of my 33% stuff, they've held up well. So make sure that all of those sit. And I put them in the control surfaces first because they're beveled. It makes it a lot easier for you to make sure that the pivot of the Robart is actually right at the very center on that line. So the very point of your elevator on the bevel should be in the very center of the pivot point here. So um, when you know that all of those fit down in the pockets appropriately, you can go ahead and take them all out like so. Now you're going to need yourself a little cup of water and another cup here. So what I do is First things first, I will get some good old fashion, fashion house Vaseline here and a toothpick. And what you want to do is just get a little bit here on the toothpick. And you don't need a ton of the stuff, but where the joint is, I simply work that stuff into the joint. And the reason I do that is because of the glue I use expands. So I do not want that glue to stick in here because you have to shove these so far down. I do not want the glue to stick into the hinge pockets and then you're kind of stuck. So you get some glue in the joint, or uh, I'm sorry, a little bit of cable, uh, Vaseline there in the joint, you're good. <clears throat> and now you want to get yourself what I use. You can use epoxy. I love Gorilla Glue. Now this stuff I let sit overnight to set up. Um, it will start to harden in probably like an hour, but you just literally will take some of this stuff and this stuff expands. So I just squeeze some of it. You don't need a ton of this stuff into your mixing cup. So with all hinge pockets, um, you need a little bit of moisture in there to make the Gorilla Glue work. It needs moisture to start to activate, but it starts to swell inside of those pockets. So it will literally fill up around all the edges of your Robart, plus tighten up on the backside. So literally there's no way for that hinge to pull out. So um, what I do with the water is just simply take this, get a little bit of water on your toothpick, and you can rub that around on the inside. All it needs is a little moisture to start to activate. Doesn't need to be wet. You do not want to add water right to the Gorilla Glue. And this method, like I said, has absolutely worked wonders for me. I have no issues. So now, once you have a little bit of moisture in all those pockets, you can take your hinge that you were working with, and I get some of the Gorilla Glue and I will take this stuff and smear it into each one of these pockets. So I will do one for an example here. This stuff is almost like honey. So I just get it all curled up like that and let it literally just run right down into there. So you can see it, it's running right down into the pocket.
as I said, this stuff will expand, so it gives you a little bit of working time, um, more so than epoxy. You can get half an hour epoxy or whatever, but... I like how this stuff fills voids. That's the benefit of it. So, the last time I talked to you guys, um, I had some damage to the elevators and the wing called Horizon. Um, I noticed them as I was unboxing the rest of the pieces and um, they took care of it. I said, no problem, please send us pictures. I did and they took care of the stuff. So, um, super cool. Shout out to Horizon, good customer service. No garbage there. So anyway, so you're now gonna take this thing and push it way down into the inside of there. And now you wanna make sure that this thing is not crooked. You don't want this thing off to one side or the other. So if you have to, you're gonna have to give it a little twist in the pocket. But I usually like my stuff to bend straight up and down at a 90. And Again, if you need to, this is a good time to use your square to make sure that you're lined up. And I'm not quite where I want to be yet. I need to come. I'll just stick that right on there. Perfect. So, time for the time lapse. Let's do all the others. All right, back to the build. So we had overnight to let the control surfaces, the hinges that I put in there, the robarts with the Gorilla Glue dry. Those things, I checked them out this morning. They're absolutely good to go. They're ready to be installed on the control surfaces now. So just real quick to show you so you get an idea what I'm talking about. If you look right in here, hopefully I can zoom in and you guys can get that and you can actually see it. But you can see a little bit of the Gorilla Glue bubbles up right there around the hinges. So that's why we put the Vaseline in there. So that way we don't have any issues with it um, making the hinge stick or anything. So what we want to do is I'll just clean off that little bit now. We'll go ahead and we'll wet the um, holes in the inside of the stabilizers. Uh, horizontal and vertical. We're going to get all of our control surfaces made it up. Um, also, time to get that power plant in. So off to the time lapse.